Well, hello and good day. I hope that this video is finding you in good health and good spirits. I'm having a pretty good day. We're here on the end of June. Summer is starting to blossom here in the Northern Hemisphere. Today, my question for the cards is I want to take a look at what the month of July is going to look like for Donald Trump. A while back, I did a reading in... There was a card that came up in his future. It was the Page of Swords. And, you know, clairvoyantly, what went through my head at the time was the coming storm. And I've been kind of keeping an eye out for this. But this card has, like, keeps nagging at me. So that's one of the questions that I have is the coming storm, is it going to arrive in the month of July? for Donald Trump and of course this is a big month for him and this is the Republican convention we don't know yet how or if he did the first presidential debate but we'll see how things are working out do know that in the polls Joe Biden is starting to separate a little bit from the Trump machine and the deck that we're using today is the Tarot of Mystical Moments by Catherine Welts Stein. It's a lovely little deck. I'm just kind of getting used to using it. So let's see what we've got here for a July reading for Donald Trump. And we're just doing our standard Celtic cross with it. Now, the signifier card for this reading is the Eight of Pentacles. When you think the cards aren't listening, you get something like this. Because the Eight of Pentacles is also known as the Apprentice card. It is a card that is about practice and skill that has been developed from, you know, the discipline of working at something and developing a degree of mastery. Not quite sure with all the going on and what has come out in the last few years what he is a master of other than fraud and deception because he really he ain't no businessman i'm telling you any man that can bankrupt a casino got no right being in business this is crossed by the moon card the moon card is a card about illusion it's about intuition it's about the subconscious kind of really kind of riling up it's about secrets it's about deception of course that is no stranger to the trump universe and it is about uncertainty and fear and i think this is going to play prominently for donald trump for now to the rest of the year this whole idea of fear and uncertainty i think I think the storm is gathering. Now, in the past position, we have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is a card about competition and aggression and discord and defeat. And he certainly has lost a lot of the things that he's been on about the last uh, couple of months. Lost the court cases in New York, both the criminal trial where he was convicted of 34 counts and also the E. Jean Carroll trial. And that was a civil judgment, which originally started off as $5 million, but he talked his way into making an $83 million one. Go Donald. Again, with the not really a smart businessman. In the future, reading, we have the Seven of Swords. We're starting to get used to this. We're starting to see a theme. And this is a card that's about theft and deception, about dishonesty, about trickery and cunning. And if you seen the, the nonsense that's been out in the news lately about Roger Stone going on about how they've got the 2024 election steal all sewed up. Like they got the judges on side now and what they are going to do. We'll do, we'll be looking at that a little bit later, trust me. Sky of the reading. This is the overarching energy. This is the goals, the aspirations, if you want. And we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, very interesting character. She is very confident, very vivacious, very charming, very sociable. And he is very charismatic. Let's face it, he's 
he has got a cult following. His mega supporters are not just like, you know, right wing or Republican. Like, they are devotees. They are, like, it's unbelievable the amount of passion that they have for this man. And the Queen of Wands, one of the things that I always think of when I see her is, you know, that's it, baby. You're at the top of your game. And I really think month of July is going to be the top of his game because I think it's going to be a downhill slide from here on in. In the foundation of the reading, this is the underlying energy. This is what's propping the whole thing up. We have the Four of Swords, and it's in a reverse position. This is a card about stress. It's about exhaustion and anxiety and being restless. Yes, things are taking its toll. I mean, his cognitive decline is becoming more and more noticeable. The aphasia, the you know just the word salad the inability to express a coherent thought that is coming up he is you know tweeting at all hours of the the day and night it doesn't make any sense a lot of the stuff that he's coming out with but it tells me that he's not sleeping at night and that's no surprise i mean if you look at the circumference of his neck his chances are i think pretty strong that he probably has sleep apnea which means he has highly disrupted sleep and he looks his skin tone like I know he's got the orange makeup on and all that but there's a gray sheen to it like there's just this kind of putty like not healthy not healthy not well rested and I don't think and of course his weight and not getting enough sleep is really an exacerbating um, factor for being overweight message from spirit we have the ace of cups and it's in a reverse position and here we're starting to get the turn right the storm is on the horizon and it's coming forward because the ace of cups is a card about rejection and being rejected on an emotional level it's the the loss of love we're starting to see, I was just read an article, and I can't remember what it was, it might have been The Economist even, where like farmers in the American Midwest are starting to turn away from him. Um, well, let's face it, he cost them a fortune. His foolishness with his trade war with China, of course, they, they retaliated immediately by slapping tariffs on U.S. agricultural um, products which were, you know, huge part of the American Midwest economy. And like farmers overnight, like bang, lost 20% of their income because of this. And then there was, you know, tax relief and that sort of stuff that went to the farmers. And it was all, you know, this is paid for by the Chinese, you know, and no, no, it was the American taxpayers that paid for it. Let's Stop being foolish, people. Okay, in the environment, we have the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles is a card about loss and despair and hardship and poverty. And I think that the magic moments are starting to fade. And I have not done a reading on his finances but I think maybe next month we need to take a look at that because I think we're seeing a lot of flash. What is that expression? A lot of sizzle, no steak. Yeah, that's what we've got here. And in the hopes and fears department, we have the 10 of wands. Unfortunately for him, it's in a reverse position and the 10 of wands when it's reversed, is talking about breakdown and burnout. Like he's been burning the candle at both ends. I think if he does show up to the presidential debate, I think he's going to be humiliated. If he doesn't show up, he's going to take it on the chin on for that. He's starting to become a laughing stock. And really, with somebody with his narcissistic issues, 
the worst thing that can happen to him. People being angry at him, he thrives on it. People adoring him, he thrives on it. That's why he loves his rallies. Make fun of him, laugh at him, diminish him in that kind of way, and he's got no defenses against it. And I think this is just going to keep rolling. Final outcome. Not good. We have the Nine of Wands, and it's in a reverse position. He, we're going to see him get more defensive. We're going to see him get more stubborn. He's going to be less trustful of anybody. Not that he's, you know, Mr. Trust and thing. And he, we're going to see paranoia starting to develop in him. It is going to continue. And I'm not holding out a lot for him. And now looking at the shadow card, we have the Page of Wands. And this is a card about inspiration and exploration and vitality and you know moving forward with a degree of creativity and coming up with new ideas this doesn't sound like donald trump i think there's going to be more machinations just because something is created doesn't mean it's good i think there there's going to be doubling down on the trump team on how they can rig this election how they can they're going to be heavily plotting on coup 2.0 because I think realistically that all of that because I'm an optimist and I have a great deal of faith in the American people. I can't see him legitimately getting elected. But, you know, I haven't run the cards on the election yet. That is just, you know, Kate's sense because, you know, I'm a raving optimist. What can I say? What can I tell you? So that's kind of my assessment for the month of July for Donald Trump is I think he's going to peak and then the decline has come. That storm, that, that page of swords I saw so long ago is that storm is still roiling and it's still coming and it's still approaching and it is going to land. And I think that this may possibly be the last really good month that he has. Certainly time will tell. If you like this kind of content and you'd like to see more of it, by all means, hit that like button. What it does is it tells me that you do enjoy this kind of content. You'd like to see more of it. And it encourages me to you know, follow along that path. If you would be so inclined, Feel free to hit the subscribe button, the little notification button. You'll find, be notified every time I drop a new video, which is roughly every second day or so. And finally, comments. By all means, throw something in the comments. Love to hear your opinion on the topic matter, what you think about different things. If you have a question for the cards, throw it down there too. If you just want to comment on the cards and the decks, I can live with that too because I love my tarot deck collection. There's no two ways about it. So that's my reading for today. We're wrapping up the month of June and I will talk to you later. Bye bye for now.